SCP is still has a lot of variety when it comes to attachments, but only a few are actually good. In this video, I'll show you all the attachments with a simple explanation. Also, anything marked with this symbol means it's optional. Starting with the sidearms, COM15 goes first. Preset 1 will be a quick draw, where it's just a default gun. Preset 2 is the same as preset 1, except use a 17 bullet mag, who don't use it personally. Preset 3, however, is when you want to go full mayhem on the guards, setting the suppressor with the 70 bullet mag for the best accuracy possible. Moving to COM18, same logic as the COM15, the first preset will be a quick draw where it is a default gun. Preset 2, however, it will be whenever you are a guard and want to kill SCPs, going for max damage and accuracy. Preset 3 is the same as preset 2, except for MTF or Chaos. And the last sidearm, Revolver, once again going for the quick draw, Revolver goes for a short battle, 6 shot and default stock, this is good for both SCPs and humans in terms of sidearm. Preset 2 is however, when you want to use the gun as a primary weapon, going for a long battle with a 6 shot and default stock. Preset 3 is a classical sniper, going for a telescopy sight, 4 shot, long battle and heavy stock. Now that we finish the sidearms, let's move on to the primary weapons. Starting with the FSP, we have a long range preset, going for suppressor, ammo counter, fall grip, and extended stock. On preset 2, we have the universal FSP, which is one to use 99% of the time, being only the fall grip and laser with a risk being default. On preset 3, we have the quick draw, being the default FSP with no changes whatsoever. Only use it if you want to surprise guards as a D class, as it is extremely quickly drawn. Moving to the crossway, we have another sniper. Going for night vision scope, fall grip, 30 AP, and an extended battle. However, this does have a very long draw. Preset 2 is the SCP Human Annihilator. Going for retracted stock, laser, and extended battle. This will be your main preset that will use 99% of the games. Preset 3 is what I like to call P173 Annihilator. Going for extended battle, 30 AP, and laser. Next up is the Epsilon 11. Once again, we have the sniper preset. Going for suppressor, 30 AP, ammo counter, ball grip, telescopy sight, rifle receiver, and heavy stock. Preset 2 will be the main preset. Going for muzzle break, laser, flashlight, 30 HP, lightweight stock. The perfect preset for keep firing. However, for you people who like to ADS, that's preset 3. It's a mix between keep firing and ADSing. Going for muzzle break, laser, flashlight, dot sight. 30 AP and heavy stock. Now the last MTF weapon, the G36. The first preset is, again, a sniper. No need for explanation anymore. The second preset is the hip fire monster everyone fears, especially the SCPs such as Shy Guy. And the third is again for you people like to ADS while keeping a nice hip fire accuracy. Now that we're done with the MTF weapons, here's the CI ones. Starting with the AK, the first preset, you guessed it, a sniper. The second preset, however, is the hip fire weapon you'll want to use most of the times. The third one is the mixed weapon. Noticing any pattern here? Moving to the logister, we have the sniper preset that for some reason exists. The second preset is the hip fire monster that is feared by any fault or goes against it. The third preset is the mix monster, although I wouldn't use it over the hip fire monster. And of course, the beloved shotgun. For some reason, the first preset is the sniper. Second preset is the SCP preset, aka default shotgun. And of course, the third preset is the one who knocks the MTF right into the afterlife. I have a lot more tips on guns attachments. If you have any question, do join my Discord server. Link in the description. Love you, bye!